Research. I have five hours and 26 minutes of leisure time today. So, I came here looking for you to inquire about previously discussed matters. You tell time very accurately. Are you a human clock? No, no. It's nothing worth your praise. That wasn't a compliment. Can I ask you a question, Traveler? I made a request regarding investigating Mr. Albedo's secret. Have you- Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's been over a week since we talked about it. What? Uh, over a week? I clearly... <sighs> I've been so absorbed in my research. How can your sense of time be so strong and so weak at the same time? So... Do you know what it is? That's great. Could you tell me? Um... Telling her shouldn't really matter. She can take a look, too. Just no touching. Wait. What are you talking? What's this? It's a super powerful sword. Don't touch it with your bare hand. Uh, this is... <gasps> this is... I've never seen... <laughs> look all you want. Not sure why, but even but. Astounding! It's the first time I've heard of such a mysterious weapon. I can faintly feel the power coursing through the sword. It's like a living creature. Is it such a distinct feeling? This may be due to my alchemist training. I don't dare to say anything for sure, but the flow of power is very noticeable. Although this description isn't the most pres- Please, believe me, I don't usually use such ambiguous terms. Okay, okay, we got it. A traveler, could you use this sword in battle? I'd like to learn more about it, but I'm unable to use it myself. Let's look around for the right... your fighting stance or the momentum of your swing, it's perfect. This sword is special. I didn't want to go too deep into the research, and yet I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Well, Paimon thinks that's one of your own special qualities, not the swords. Clearly this is a mysterious yet dangerous and enticing sword. Mr. Albedo must have great confidence in you to have entrusted you with such an important item. Well, you've earned his trust with your abilities. I agree with Paimon. However, the sword hadn't absorbed much energy before it was handed to you. Huh. A flash of brilliance often doesn't make sense. For example, Paimon's appetite for sticky honey roast. <gasps> Which reminds me, I didn't... I went looking for you right after completing my experiment. Then, on the way... I ran into an adventurer trapped in the snow. I... Uh, uh, no, don't be so shy. Just say what's on your mind. Uh, um, let Paimon help you out. Paimon, I'm, I'm hungry. I could. Oh, uh, I'm just a little embarrassed. Nothing to be ashamed of. Admitting that you're hungry makes the food taste better. Huh? Is that so? Of course! Let's get moving. There must be some food. It'd be lovely to have some sticky honey roast to keep us warm in this ice... Isn't that the hot-headed 
adventurer from Mondstadt? Did he come here with Cyrus to explore the snowy mountain? I'm... <laughs> Have you been here since I rescued you from the snow pit? I wanted to leave, but... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Pallet, a trip to this mountain requires so... I'd appreciate the assistance. I'm afraid that even if we can't, we won't just leave him here, right? You're right. My apologies. He's the least of your concerns right now. You should be... <gasps> the Fatui strike again! You must have already figured out why we won't let you go unless you give us that sword. No! Please don't give them the sword! That's the spirit! Let's knock him down! Mr. Pellet, I'll take you to a safe place. Quickly! So naive. We won't let any witness escape. This sword will make a fine gift for Her Excellency. This is it. I heard the ruckus and came over to check. So what happened? M Mr. Albedo. Aren't you supposed to be organizing documents? And you got into a fight with such a dangerous opponent. Well, now even Paimon feels... Uh, uh, I... Huh. I reckon you've been led astray. You told her everything? We just told her about the sword's properties and origin. We didn't let her touch it. <sighs> Never mind. Sucrose is naturally drawn to obscure knowledge and mystery. Uh, uh, I promise I won't be causing trouble anymore. I... It's not trouble that worries me. I'm only concerned with your safety. <sighs> anyway, what's going on with that? I took it upon myself to protect Mr. Pallet during the battle. I... <sighs> he must have caught a cold during the fight! Uh, I didn't consider that possibility. Mr. Albedo, I'll check... Sure. Sucrose may seem a bit rigid, but she's a good can't disagree. That girl. Let her out of your sight, and she went true. Don't worry, I'm not a... Huh. There seems to be a shiny thingy on the sword. <sighs> and the sword's power is much stronger than... There were some ferocious characters among those Fatui soldiers. So it's the energy it's never encountered before. It caused the sword to greatly... So cold. Hold on just a little longer. Uh, 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 fire? F fire! Warmth! Wait! Watch out! How could a dead tree stem turn out to be such a mud? Paimon almost got sw- Anyway, why hasn't anything like that- Most probably it's because the sword fell to the ground. It's my fault. Don't make me l- I promise I'll stay put. Uh, Mr. Pallet. <sighs> this cryo regisfine, having originally withered up and died here, after you purified the corruption, the result pure life force will cause it to constantly regenerate itself. To get, I also haven't encountered any sim. Yet I must admit that if Sucrose, uh, yes, keep an eye on that adventurer. Yes, sir. As for the matters at hand, I beg your. Such an unexpected.
You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. 